landed well. This is a particularly relevant story right now. Um, it is a mostly true story from Iceland. Looks like it's related to volcanoes erupting, and one has just erupted recently. Um, it's it's not quite like a mountain that's exploding like in Hawaii, but um, it looked like from what I saw, it's more fissures in the ground. So it's like kind of coming up from the ground in cracks, you know, like more at this level than spewing from above, but still pretty exciting. Um, this book is by written by Avar Poor Benedictson and art by Ann Wilson. This is a Junior Library Guild Gold selection uh, published by Barefoot Books. And um, yeah, I think just in general, like volcanoes are pretty exciting, especially when they're active. Um, and so this is the story about the author's grandfather, how he got stranded on a volcanic island, almost turned into barbecue and found the most important moment in the world. Wow. Sounds pretty exciting. But um, I think it's great. Like, this is, like, not what I expected, you know. This is a very personal story uh, about what happened to his grandfather. And um, and kind of exciting because it's like, it's like a, um, you know, they found themselves in a, in a calamity situation where they're hiking and all of a sudden there's this active volcano and it's very dangerous. And, um, they lived, um, for, you know, they survived and, um, figured out how to make it through. Um, and we can learn more about Iceland and more about volcanoes and more about volcanoes in Iceland. Um, in this case, um, there was a lot of seismic activity, um, so like earthquakes. Um, and so the people in Iceland and others were kind of forewarned that there's a lot of seismic activity, which indicates there's going to be volcanic activity soon. But I don't think it's this particular, or up to now, um, eruption is threatening um, anybody because it's I think it's pretty far from the nearest city and the direction of the lava is going away from the city but the other thing with volcanic eruptions is not just the lava itself but all the you know all the debris that it spews um, which you know is just like makes it hard you know hard to see and it makes it hard to breathe and then it's like this cloud of you know debris and you know smoke that kind of shifts and you know travels great distances and affects other countries as well um so i think because it's fissures from the ground there's less of this um cloud of smoke and debris um and i think the lava also has um or at least for now has cooled down a little bit so it isn't coming out as fast as it when it first um, erupted, but somebody's uh, uh, this uh, young, not young boy, but this um, young man uh, used a drone and took incredible footage um, from even before it started. Like you see the whole thing and he, he burned his drone camera, you know, um, filming it, but he got all the footage and the footage is amazing. So that is, if I find that, um, cause I just saw it on social media. If I can find it, I'll, I'll link to that in the down box. Um, so anyway, exciting story that is, um, kind of front page news as well. Um, so thank you to Barefoot Books for sending me stranded and thank you for watching.